Hello everyone and welcome today to today's maths learning. My name is Mrs Fitch and we're going to be learning all about fact families. This video is going to be suitable for both year one and year two and for year two this will build on to a lesson by Miss Smith next week so look out for that. You are going to need a piece of paper and a pencil to write down your answers and if you need some extra help gather some objects that you are able to count from home. It could be pieces of pasta, coins, buttons, any small objects that you can lay out in front of you to help you with your counting. And please remember if at any point you need to pause the video to give yourself some thinking time that you do do that. Okay, let's warm up our maths brains and we're going to start by counting on in ones from different numbers. On my screen I have got a two digit number. Can you tell me what it is? That's right, 26. We're going to count on from 26 in ones. Count with me. 26, 27, 28, 29, what comes next? 30. Well done. Next number. 12. What comes next? 13. Make sure you're saying the teen, not T, because that's a different number. 14, 15, 16. One more number. What is it? 38. Counting on in ones. 39, 40, 41, 42. Perfect. We're going to start today by looking at our learn it's from last term. Learn it's are number facts that we need to know really quickly to help us with our maths. Using one of our learn it's we're going to look at how we can represent calculations. We can use object, sorry objects, such as these ducks that we can add together to find the total. We can use the spots on a dice to add two numbers together and we can also use a number line starting from one number and jumping on the amount we are adding. When we add two numbers together it doesn't matter which number we start with. The answer is always the same. That is called a switcher. If we have a look at our calculation, 5 add 3, the answer is 8. However, if we switched those two numbers that we are adding together and started with 3 add 5, the answer would still be 8. That is called a switcher. That's right, a switcher. Use your objects if you have some in front of you and make yourself two piles, one of five and one of three. You can see for yourself, it doesn't matter which pile you start with, the answer is always the same. We can also see that with these charts here. If we start with five and add three more, the answer is eight. However, if we switch those numbers we are adding together and start with three and add five more, the answer is still, you got it, eight. It doesn't change. When we are adding, it doesn't matter which number we start with. So looking back to our learn it's, I would like you to pause the video here and you are going to write all of the switches for these calculations. So hopefully you have got all of those written down. Your challenge is something that we have spoken about in class before. We can use what we already know to work with bigger numbers. And we've done this before when we change the thing that we are counting. 
So if you have five buttons, add three buttons, the answer is eight buttons. But if we change the thing, the buttons, to a tens, so we have three tens and five tens, the answer is eight tens. So we are able to use what we already know to work with bigger numbers. If you are up for the challenge, see if you can now use your learn it to add together your tens. So instead of two, sorry, four plus two equals six, you would do four tens plus two tens equals six tens. That opens up loads more calculations that you know the answer to. Because if you know these learn it, you also know their switches and you also know the tens. Okay, fact families, we're going to use things that we already know to help us learn about fact families. This is going to be the first time that year one have learned about fact families. But don't worry, just like always in big maths, we use what we already know to help us with our new learning. So to help us learn about fact families, we're going to be doing some addition, some subtraction, and we're going to use those switches that we have already spoken about. Here's the calculation we had earlier. 5 plus 3 equals 8 and its switcher. 3 plus 5 equals 8. We can put those numbers into a fact family triangle. We put the switches at the bottom and the sum or the total at the top. The biggest number in our fact family triangle always goes at the top. Now, to help you really get to grips with our fact family triangle, we're going to hide some of those numbers and see if you can guess which number has been hidden. Remember, our switches are at the bottom. So the answer is at the top. Which number is missing? That's right, eight. Let's hide another number. Remember, our total is at the top. Our switches are at the bottom. So we want to make eight. Which number is missing that we need to add to three? to make eight. That's right, five. So let's write some fact family calculations. To help you to remember what you need to do, we need to first copy the learn it down. Second, write the switcher. You know how to do that now. Third, this is where you need to concentrate. You bring the total, the sum or the biggest number that we had at the top of our fact family triangle and it's going to move from being the answer to the front of your calculations and then we're going to change from an, an addition calculation to a subtraction calculation and then we're going to use the two switches. Let me show you. Let's do it together. So the fact family that we are going to find the answer for is 6 plus 4 equals 10. We're going to use our fact family triangle to help us find the, the answers. Remember, the total or the sum, the biggest number goes at the top of our fact family triangle and then our two switches at the bottom. 
we've got our remember to's to help us not to forget any of our calculations. So starting with our first number sentence, 6 plus 4 equals 10, if you could write that down. Next, we need to write the switcher. That's right, 4 plus 6 still equals 10. This is the bit you have to be careful with. We're going to bring the total to the beginning and change our addition to a subtraction calculation and then we're going to take away each of the switches. So we're going to take away 4 and that will leave us with the answer 6 and then we're going to switch 4 with 6 and that will leave us with the answer 4. Now you're going to have a go at doing one on your own. Are you ready? So our calculation is 7 plus 5 equals 12. What can we use to help us with our fact families? That's right, a fact family triangle. Remembering to write our biggest number at the top and what at the bottom? Our two switches. Then we go through our remember to's to help us. Starting with the first, copy the learn it down. Second, write the switches. Third, bring the total to the beginning. Change the calculation to a takeaway. And then write the switches. Pause the video to give yourself a chance to write down your four calculations for that fact family. Okay, now we're going to use what we have learnt with fact families to help us find the missing number. Have a look at these two calculations. They are part of the same fact family. To help you, you might want to draw a fact family triangle to help you. Remember the biggest number goes at the top and then the two switches go at the bottom. So we can see that 15 is our biggest number that goes at the top. And then our two switches, 6 and 9, go at the bottom. So now we can see that the missing number that we add to 6 to make 15 is 9. And here we can see that 15 take away 9 leaves us with 6. see if you can have a go by yourselves. Here we've got two different calculations but once again they are in the same fact family. Use your fact family triangle to help you find the missing number. We can see 8 plus something equals 11 and something take away 3 equals 8. Did you get it right? One more. Six plus something equals 14. Using that fact family triangle to help you. Can you work out the missing number? Something plus six equals 14. 14 take away six equals this missing number and 14 take away our missing number equals 6. That's our whole fact family but yet one of our numbers is still missing. Have you worked out what it is? Let me give you a little tip. Looking at these calculations, which one looks the easiest 
to find the answer to. I can see 14 take away 6 is a calculation that would be easy to find out the answer to. See if you can work out the answer, because if you find out the answer, that's our missing number. Did you get eight? Well done if you did. So our missing number for this fact family was eight. Last one, 13 take away, our missing number equals eight. So once again, we're using our fact family triangle to help us. I've switched it around so that we are doing our two takeaway calculations first. 13 take away something equals 8. 13 take away 8 equals our something. And then I've done my two addition. 8 plus something equals 13. And something take away, sorry, something add 8 equals 13. Have a look down. Can you work out the missing number? Remember my tip. From the last calculation, use that to help you. That's right. This is the easiest calculation to find the answer to. So my missing number is five. Well done everybody. You've worked really hard today on learning all about your fact families and challenged yourself by using your fact families to find missing numbers. To finish off, I just wanted to share with you the Learn It for the summer term. We started off looking at last term's Learn It and obviously you haven't been here for us to share with you this terms. So I'd like you to write these down and have a little practice over the next couple of weeks because we will keep revisiting them in our maths videos to help you remember them really quickly. It's really important that you know these calculations as quick as you know your, the answer to your name. You will notice that they are doubles. We've done doubles before, but once we start getting above double five, it's harder to do with our hands. So that's why we need to recall these facts very quickly. So today, we started by counting on from different numbers and you can do that to keep practicing your counting in ones, starting from any number from zero to 100. We revisited our Learn It from the spring term so that you don't forget them. It's really important you keep practicing those at home. We learnt about fact families and we used what we knew about fact families to help us find the missing numbers. And we finally looked at our learn -its for the summer term so you can start practicing those at home and we'll do more work with those in the coming weeks. Thank you very much for listening and all of your hard work today. If you want to re-watch the video to understand fact families even further, please do so. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.